Is. Let's bring in Annalise. That's been kind of the good part this morning, Annalise, is that we've seen that rain moving through really quickly. We have, yeah, and that's moving off quickly. The severe threat continues to go down, guys, but uh, we are still dealing with that one severe thunderstorm warning there in Dallas County. So there has been this one cell that has really been able to hold on to its strength, and that was actually all the way back west. This cell uh, was a severe cell back in Parker County, so that tells you how long it's been holding on to all that strength. And as we take a little bit of a close Look, this is a severe thunderstorm warning lasting till 530. Uh, you can see that eastern sides of Dallas County outlined there. That does mean as it races off to the east around 35 miles an hour. Some of the locations that are going to be on board for this 532, that's there around Kaufman. Uh, we'll continue to watch it around Hawk Cove. That's 548. Wills Point for you closer to 555. Main threats with this would be 60 mile an hour winds, maybe some penny size hail. So we are talking about smaller hail, but still enough to certainly wake you up this morning. Of course, that's not even uh, accounting for the heavy, heavy rain and the lightning show that that storm does continue to provide. But moving on from here, we go on through the later part of the morning. We will watch all of those storms pushing out rather quickly. We get into the midday and afternoon hours. We'll watch to see some breaks in the clouds and to see if the atmosphere can kind of turn over and produce some isolated storms. But I don't expect we're seeing anything widespread as we head into the afternoon. Late tonight, there will be some strong storms through Oklahoma, but as of right now, most models are keeping the majority of that activity up north of us, north of the Red River. So anything additional today, again, not widespread, but the severe threat would be there closer to the Red River and closer to Oklahoma. Just a one out of five on that severe scale here in the Metroplex. That does include for most of North Texas. So for Today, that severe threat, if you have friends up around Oklahoma City, up towards Wichita, make sure that they are being really weather aware today because they have the threat to see all severe modes, including tornadoes. The same is going to be able to be set on Wednesday. Look how similar the map is. A one out of five on the severe scale right now in DFW. We've got that slight risk off to the north and northwest. And yet again, Oklahoma City will be there under that enhanced risk as we get to around Wednesday. So here Here's your forecast for today. Not a washout. We're dealing with these scattered storms this morning. We will catch a bit of a break as we get into the mid to late morning period. And then as we move on into the afternoon, the threat will remain for an isolated storm. Can't rule out a couple of strong storms closer to the Red River late tonight. But then as we move on into Tuesday, we're going to catch our breath briefly before we're talking about more active weather, especially late day Wednesday, and then widespread heavy rain moves in on Thursday along with a cold front.